This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program. Covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. Victor Valley College coach Irvin Bounds sees many a positive sign coming out of this conference confrontation with the Western State East frontrunners. Evan Bricker turns in the strongest starting pitcher performance of the season for Victor Valley College, taking a 2-1 to one lead into the ninth against first place Glendale. The sophomore out of Sultana is one out away from defeating the visiting Vaqueros, going eight and two-thirds in. Evan Bricker, listed at 5'9", 215, masterful from the start, striking out leadoff hitter Tom Tabak to open the game. Tom Tabak, a 350 hitter coming in. Glendale threatens in the first. 364 hitting, Jacob Gribben sends Brandon Lewis to third with the long single cut off by right fielder Mauricio Bueno. Runners on the corners with one out. Rams first baseman Justin Henry makes a fine play digging out the low throw for the second out, but the visiting Vaqueros have the first run of the ball game on the 6-3 put out. The Vaqueros had scored eight runs in the first two innings against Victor Valley College three days earlier en route to a 13-9 victory over the Rams. Evan Bricker finds himself pitching out of a stretch in the second. He strikes out Lucas Sake, swinging, and gets out of the inning, stranding a base runner at second. As for the Rams offense, Mauricio Bueno gets the first hit for the Rams, the two-out single to right off Vaquero's starter, Dexter Wilkerson. The Rams welcome Dylan Lindsay back into the lineup, first at bats coming off the disabled list. The Citrus Valley sophomore has two good swings of the bat his first two times up, although nothing in the hits department to show for it. Glendale second baseman Lucas Sake demonstrates the difficulty in negotiating what appears to be a routine pop-up in our high desert wind gusts. Alfred Lopez is aboard with one out in the Rams half of the second. Rams second baseman Alfred Lopez demonstrates the proper way to handle the wind-blown pop-ups, retiring Brandon Lewis in the third. Evan Bricker strikes out Tony Laporte, swinging for strikeout number five, out number one in the fourth. Then Jake Selko and the Rams come in to hit in their half of the fourth, still trailing one nothing. Anytime a pitcher has an outstanding performance, credit is extended to his catcher calling the pitches and in this case, nailing the base runner attempting to steal. Rams catcher Manny Sierra is a freshman out of El Dorado High School in El Paso, Texas. Manny Sierra makes his contributions at the plate as well as behind it, this base hit coming in the fifth. Manny Sierra had one of the nine hits for the Rams in their earlier in the week encounter against Glendale. Evan Bricker brings the Rams in to hit in the sixth, freezing Jacob Gribben on the breaking pitch. Glendale has summoned their ace out of the bullpen, Chris Davidson, ordinarily a starter. Josh Ferrari promptly greets the southpaw with a sharp base hit, slapping the second pitch he sees from Chris Davidson into left field. Josh Ferrari breaks on the first pitch and steals second, giving the Rams their first base runner in scoring position. Second stolen base on the year for the freshman out of Arrowhead Christian in Glendale, the Glendale in Arizona. Mark Cobian, the Cobra, uncoils and slices the base hit into the alley in right center field, scoring Josh Ferrari with the tying run. It is 1-1. Sixth double on the year and 12th run driven in for Mark Cobian, the freshman out of Cathedral in Los Angeles. Mauricio Bueno takes the southpaw's offering the other way, sending Mark Cobian around third and headed for home. The Vaqueros pitcher is in the base path, heading to back up home, and he is called for interfering with base runner Mark Cobian. 
The run scores. The Rams go ahead 2-1 to one on Mauricio Bueno's RBI single, 16th run driven in on the year for the Rams' leading hitter. The Rams have rallied to take the lead against the first place Vaqueros, a lead they carry into the ninth. Two things have hampered Rams' efforts in earlier conference losses, leaving runners on base in scoring position and miscues defensively. Both plague the Rams again this day. Chris Davidson strikes out a pair of Rams hitters who leave runners in scoring position and we go to the eighth with the score Victor Valley 2, Glendale 1. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got it. Good stuff. We got the lead. Let's go. We got the lead, boys. Hold it. Let's go. Evan Bricker resumes his brilliant outing, striking out Jake Salco for a third time, this time looking to end the eighth. Evan Bricker goes on to strike out 13 on the day. Two huge defensive miscues begin to spell the beginning of the end for the Rams. The throwing error places the base runner in scoring position in the ninth with nobody out, Rams still leading 2-1. to one. Evan Bricker maintains his mastery, striking out pinch hitter Thad Wilson looking. Then, 347 hitter Connor Piatto looking. Out number two in the ninth. Evan Bricker pitch count approaching 100. On a three and one pitch, the sharp single the other way, and Glendale ties the score at two. That effectively ends the day for starter Evan Bricker. Angel Trejo is summoned from the bullpen. Score tied at two. Bases remain loaded. The ground ball to second baseman Alfred Lopez ends the ninth. Glendale scores another unearned run to go ahead in the tenth. The Rams have their chance. Mark Kobian gets aboard with his second hit of the game. Mauricio Bueno comes up with two outs representing the winning run at the plate. Hard hit, ball deep to left. The Glendale left fielder runs it down on the warning track. Game over, Glendale wins three to two. Among the best games of the season played by coach Irvin Bounds, Rams, Porterville is next as Victor Valley continues pursuit of conference win number one. Midway Home Solutions action highlights this video sports online report presented by Midway Home Solutions. Midway features a huge selection of kitchen appliances, home and laundry appliances, electronics, furniture and mattresses. Midway Home Solutions. Serious legal problems? Don't go it alone. The other guys have attorneys just waiting to blow you away. Contact Iwanzak. Accidental death? Injured on the job? Contact Iwanzak. Business litigation? Vehicle accident? Unlawful detainer? Criminal litigation? Get the proper defense by going on the attack. Iwanzak Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. High Desert Sports Training, the area's only facility providing proven trading concepts. The High Desert's only high-performance TreadX 3030 treadmill and hip machine. Indoor batting cages, High Desert Sports Training personal instructors and coaches unparalleled in experience and effectiveness. High Desert Sports Training utilizes muscle memory and speed of contraction, developing a quicker, faster, and stronger athlete. Call to schedule a free event. Evaluation, High Desert Sports Training. Victor Valley College second baseman Alfred Lopez among the Rams having a huge day in the team's explosive win against Porterville. The freshman out of Moreno Valley's Valley View hammers out three hits, including powering out his second home run of the season, driving in five runs and scoring twice in Victor Valley's 22-2 triumph over the visiting Pirates. Every Rams hitter in Coach Irvin Bounds' lineup registers a hit. Seven driving in runs. 
Eric Gould drives this long home run over the center field fence at Willie Davis Pringle Field. Eric Gould's second homer of the year, the only other round tripper of the day, the sophomore center fielder adds two doubles to the Rams hit parade on the day. Dylan Lindsay hammers a pair of doubles, this one off the center field fence. Four runs driven in on the day for Dylan Lindsay in his second game back after a spell on the DL. Victor Valley pummels Porterville pitchers for 22 hits. Starting pitcher Julian Fonseca fans four. In his three-inning stint, Julian Fonseca, a sophomore out of East Vale's Roosevelt High School. The Rams go to Porterville the following day before resuming conference play against first place Glendale. Down Home Grill, Victorville Online Sports Report. Action highlights brought to you by the Down Home Grill. Burgers from organic grass-fed beef. Breakfast from organic eggs. Great food, homemade, GMO, and many gluten. Free. Down Home Grill, corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive, Victorville. Apple Valley hosting Burroughs on a windy final Saturday of March, the day after Burroughs beat Oak Hills in Ridgecrest and the Sun Devils lost in extra innings to Hesperia in Mojave River League openers. This is a Mojave River League tournament game. It does not have a bearing on MRL standings. Coach Sean Sears, Sun Devils, 9-3 on the year. Burroughs, 4-3-1 coming in. A pair of right-handers squaring off. Elian Ortega on the mound for the home team. Sun Devils, Evan Hernandez, a junior for the Burroughs. Burroughs mounts a threat in the first. Runners on the corners with one out. Elian Ortega gets the strikeout for the second out of the inning. Then the ground out off the bat of opposing pitcher Evan Hernandez. Shortstop Tanner Fuller makes the play, and the Sun Devils come in to hit. Burroughs gets a fine sliding catch by center fielder Jordan Chapman on the drive off the bat of Robbie Myers. Sun Devils leading hitter Logan Valencia gets the first hit of the afternoon off Evan Hernandez, the stand-up double to left center field. Sixth double on the season for Logan Valencia, whose two hits this game raise his batting average to 477. The Sun Devils running game puts them on the board in the second. Dallas Williams steals second, sixth stolen base on the season for the Apple Valley Junior. Christian Hill runs out the infield base hit that sends Dallas Williams to third and gives the Sun Devils runners on the corners. There are two out. Chris Hill steals second and Dallas Williams scores when the short throw to the shortstop is mishandled. Apple Valley goes ahead 1-0. Chris Hill's first stolen base of the year, resulting in the first run of the ball game. Chris Hill, 5'7", 150 pound Sun Devils senior infielder. Apple Valley strikes for four runs in the third. Logan Valencia's base hit up the middle scores Robbie Myers from second. Team high 12th run driven in on the year for the senior co-captain, two nothing Sun Devils. Fellow senior Tanner Fuller drives the base hit to left, sending Logan Valencia to second with one out. Tanner Fuller, one of four Sun Devils with two hits this game. Tanner Fuller at 6 foot 190, hitting 381 on the season. Jesus Diaz rips the base hit up the middle. Logan Valencia scores from second, and the Sun Devils lead is three to nothing. 13th run by Logan Valencia, who also leads his team in that department. Jesus Diaz, Sun Devils senior outfielder. Joey Vera gets plunked, loading the bases. Tanner Fuller to third, Jesus Diaz to second. Dallas Williams takes one for the team. The bases loaded hit by pitch would score a run. But the umpire rules he did not try to get out of the way of the pitch. Turns out, for the better, Dallas Williams drills the base hit that scores Jesus Diaz and Tanner Fuller, and the Sun Devils go ahead 5 to nothing. Nobody out in the fifth. 
Dallas Williams collects his second double of the day, pulling it down to the left field line and sending Joey Vera sliding into third. Dallas Williams, a junior, listed at 5'8", 175. His two hits this game raise his batting average to 351. Jacob Escobar drives in Joey Vera with the base hit up the middle, making it 6-1 Sun Devils. Dallas Williams advances to third. Jacob Escobar, a 5'8", 160-pound senior outfielder. Dallas Williams scores the last run to be scored in this game when the potential double play ball is mishandled. Credit Alien Ortega with the RBI. Tenth run driven in on the year for Alien Ortega. On the mound, Alien Ortega scatters four hits in his sixth inning outing. The 5'9", 160-pound senior co-captain strikes out seven in earning his first victory. His earned run average lowers to 1.40. Junior Dylan Marsteller comes on in the seventh to finish it off. Dylan Marsteller, 5'11", 185-pound junior, making his third appearance of the season, all out of the bullpen. Dylan Marsteller records two strikeouts before inducing the game-ending ground ball to second baseman Chris Hill. The final score, Sun Devils 7, Burroughs 1. Apple Valley improves to 10 and 3 on the year. What do the Sun Devils have to improve on most to contend for the Mojave River League title? Slow the game down. Slow the game down, keep playing for each other. Congratulations on the win today. Good luck and get back in the league play next week. Thank you. The Community Table Restaurant Online Sports Report. Action highlights brought to you by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting Victor Valley teams and athletic programs. On this week's Video Sports Flashback feature, Motor Sports. Wheel to Wheel Raceway's 2018 opening night is April 14th. We flash back to 2017's opening night and a review of defending track champions. Returning track champions return to the winner's circle, the opening night of 2017 racing at Wheel to Wheel Raceway in Victorville. Defending champion Daniel Bennett won the 500cc Speedway Sprints, Maine. The 31-year-old out of Grand Junction, Colorado, in car 29, fights off 2016 runner-up Buck Blair, Black 39, and Victorville's Nate Robinson in car 54. Last year's Rookie of the Year in the Restrictor class, Daniel Smithson, 88, won the Restrictor Main. Daniel Smithson is out of Costa Mesa. Last year's Intermediate Rookie of the Year, Braden Struder of Murrieta, took the checkered flag in the Intermediate Main. What's the now nine-year-old setting out to do this season? Well, one thing I've always known is pedal to the metal. Go as fast as you can, slow down sometimes in the turns, use the brake a little bit, and try not to wreck people. I'm going to rely next on the written account and expertise of motorsports guru Mike Marr, whose reports appear in the Daily Press. This is the main event for many race fans, 500cc speedway sprints, the fastest speedway sprints, and the most experienced drivers. Daniel Bennett starts third behind White 54 Nate Robinson and 39 Buck Blair. Austin Brundage 3A behind Blair, John Aiden is seven. On the restart, following a spin out, Nate Robinson gets off to a fast start before Daniel Bennett overtakes him. Another spin out forces a second restart. Daniel Bennett maintains the lead and brings home the checker. Robinson and Blair finished second and third in season points last year behind Daniel Bennett. Look for this trio to battle it out all season and fight off the challenges of former track champion John Aiden and youngster Austin Brundage for every heat race win, main event, and the eventual 2017 championship. This is Daniel Bennett's third season racing. He was Rookie of the Year and Restrictor class champion in 2015 before winning the 500 Speedway Sprints Championship last season. 
The restrictor class will be equally intensely competitive throughout the wheel-to-wheel -wheel season. Daniel Smithsons will be challenged by the wild child, Kayla Pollard, 27, Kevin Oshins, 78, John Wilburn, 117, Jalen Estes, 37, Lila Bonham, 4, 46 is Mike Metzger. Many of these youngsters also race dirt carts. Dirt Cart Juniors defending champion Will Brown, 84, won the opening night main. The 13-year-old is out of Glendora. Dirt Cart Seniors defending track champion Bill Martin, 29M of Huntington Beach, won this Dirt Cart main. SoCal Oval Carters also circled the 1 8 mile oval in their series of heat races and main events for juniors and seniors. Daniel Bennett repeats as Wheel to Wheel Pro 500 track champ. Daniel Smithson wins restrictor plate class. Ricky Simpson wins intermediate class. Here are action highlights of the championship finale night of racing. Start of Pro 500 main, Daniel Bennett on the pole. White 10 is Brian Scruder. Buck Blair, black 39 behind him. 766, Bobby Taylor. 11, John Wilburn. 77, Randy Oshins. 7, John Aiden. White 99, John Alonzo. 33, Justin Taylor. 88, Daniel Smithson. Restart, Daniel Bennett, Buck Blair, Bobby Taylor, John Aiden, and that is how they will finish. On to the checkered, Daniel Bennett, Buck Blair, last year's runner-up in season points. Bobby Taylor, who finishes third in season point totals this season and is Pro 500 Rookie of the Year. John Aiden, but seven points behind Daniel Bennett for the 2017 track championship. Actually went pretty flawless for me. Um, I didn't think it was going to go so smooth, of course, but yeah, it went perfect. First heat race of the night, intermediates. Cash Culp, black with the green dollar sign, 30, Jacob Brown. Two is Sean Rogers, who will emerge Intermediate's Rookie of the Year. Trent Johnson, white seven, entering the finals in second place behind season points leader Ricky Simpson. Five laps in, Ricky Simpson flips and rolls. The 11-year-old season points leader will be back on the track for the Intermediate's main. This is that Intermediate main. 97, Lauren Brown, purple 55, Sky Farrell. Coming out of turn one, Lauren Brown goes sideways. Sean Rogers in two clips her and goes airborne. Full restart, 13 of Wheel to Wheel's youngest racers on the track, and they will be bunched together through six laps. Lauren Brown, Sky Farrell, Trent Johnson, Cash Culp, Ricky Simpson, White 6, Charlie Sabres, Green 23, Jaden Manchester, White 10, Braden Struding, Blue 8, Ryan Shank, 18, Casper Wright, Blue 51, Mia Farrell. It will be Apple Valley 18-year-old Sky Farrell capturing the checkered in the final intermediate race of the season. Kayla Pollard closes out her restrictor plate season with exciting wins in heat races, edging Jalen Estes, 37, in this down-to-the-wire finish. We go to the restrictor, Maine. Turn 4, 37, Jalen Estes veers left. 84, Will Brown clips Jalen Estes, gets smacked by the wild child, does a half gainer, and lands on all fours. Kayla Pollard leaves the track and has to work frantically to get back on. Jalen Estes, 37, 58, Marilyn Tippetts, ladies first on the restart. It's Kayla Pollard spinning to a stop into turn one. Kayla Pollard will finish third in season points behind Daniel Smithson and Justin Taylor. Jalen Estes, Marilyn Tippetts, and black 33, Justin Taylor. Light green, 88, Daniel Smithson right behind. Two restarts later, with the field narrowed to five, Daniel Smithson in front, Justin Taylor right behind. Daniel Smithson and Justin Taylor engage in a lap after lap duel to the end. The victory lap, Justin Taylor. The 18-year-old also earns Restrictor Plate Rookie of the Year honors. 
Daniel Smithson, the born on the 4th of July, 60-year-old, had clinched the track championship a couple of races prior. Uh, things were a pretty good start to finish. Yeah, pretty good in the middle. I had a little bit of a tough time, but all in all, with the whole season I had, uh, you know, I'm pretty proud of myself. I won the championship two races ago, and uh, I have to thank her like my roommate Daniel Bennett and my uh, nephew Stephen Bureau and my sister. They really helped me out a lot with their support this year. While Bill Martin repeats as senior dirt carts champion, this is the championship finals dirt carts juniors main. The track champion is 15-year-old Will Brown, white 84, 104 season points, 20 ahead of runner-up Maxwell Tippetts. I-15 Auctions, sold on supporting high desert sports. I-15 Auctions, from estate auctions to high quality used vehicles at low, low prices. Serious legal problems? Don't go all alone. The other guys have attorneys just waiting to blow you away. Contact Iwanzak. Accidental death? Injured on the job? Contact Iwanzak. Business litigation? Vehicle accident? Unlawful detainer? Criminal litigation? Get the proper defense by going on the attack. Iwanzak Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. High Desert Sports Training, the area's only facility providing proven training concepts. The High Desert's only high-performance TreadX 3030 treadmill and hip machine. Indoor batting cages, High Desert Sports Training personal instructors and coaches unparalleled in experience and effectiveness. High Desert Sports Training utilizes muscle memory and speed of contraction, developing a quicker, faster, and stronger athlete. Call to schedule a free evaluation. High Desert Sports Training. See these all-league all-stars at the all-class Top 20 Showcase. Silverado Hawks senior playmaker and leading scorer Raylene Moreno is a four-year starter for the Lady Hawks and three-time all-DSL selection. She averaged 12 points a game her senior season and led the Lady Hawks in assists. Victor Valley leading scorer Camry Porter is first team all Desert Sky League. The 5'7 senior averaged 11 points a game and led coach Tony Fondarina's Lady Jackrabbits in steals and assists. Camry Porter closed out her Lady Jackrabbits career with a 19 points performance in the near upset of top ranked Upland in the CIF playoffs. Granite Hills junior Natalie Rollins with the breakaway here against Barstow. Natalie Rollins averaged 12 points a game for the league champion Lady Cougars. Silverado junior sharpshooter Serena Serda finished second to league MVP Raylene Marino in scoring and three-pointers for the Lady Hawks. Granite Hills graduates only Anisha Gibbs from their championship team. 6-3 Brilani Bell returns for her senior season. Brilani Bell averaged 11 rebounds and 5 block shots a game for the Lady Cougars. The Oak Hills Lady Bulldogs, Mojave River League champions, place four players on the 10-member All-MRL first team, including Player of the Year Jessica Alvarado. The 5'4 senior led the Lady Bulldogs in scoring, averaging 16 points a game. Fellow senior Vicky Cuevas, 22, is a first team selection. Vicky Cuevas averaged 13 and a half points a game and led the Lady Bulldogs in assists. A.J. Burley, 33, also a senior, joins Vicky Cuevas as repeat first team all Mojave River League selections. Oak Hills coach Kelly Hennessy has one all-league performer returning next year. Five foot eight, Sage Bridges led the Lady Bulldogs in rebounding and averaged 13 points a game. Mojave River League runners-up Burroughs places two players, first team Hunter Bosk and Haley Dugan. Serrano has two players, first team, all MRL. Lady Diamondbacks leading scorer, Destiny Marin, is a repeat selection. Fellow senior, Lauren Crucius, 32, is first team, all MRL. 
Hesperia Lady Scorpions senior and leading scorer Evans Bonner rounds out the Mojave River League Dream Team first team selections. This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events.